We know that the Lord promised there would be a translation. There would be a tribulation. There would be an Armageddon. There would be a great day of the Lord at the end of that, and the plagues would be poured out. And any time before those dates that I just mentioned, the Lord can take his children in the latter 70s, the early 80s, any time, because time goes on after the translation for a number of years. And we know this, that they came through the tribulation. No man could count the number that came through out of great chaos and out of great tribulation. The mark of the beast was given. But the elect of God are always numbered, and the Lord has the number of the bride and the number of the elect. But the others no man could number. You see? But the church elect will usher right up to a most horrible period of time. In fact, it will affect them greatly just before they leave. But they will not be caught up in the Holocaust, the fires that are igniting on the earth when they Mark of the beast is issued under the penalty of death. About the time that it's getting to where these things are occurring and persecution will come strictly to all those that live in Christ Jesus and all of those that love the Lord. I don't care who it is. If it's a bishop, if it's the lowliest man, if they love the Lord with all of their heart, persecution will rise. It will come all of a sudden from out of nowhere and a madness that the world has never seen and what they thought was blessed peace and prosperity turns into a madman's race. And he pulls back the mask and no longer do you see the same personality. It will be like the classic story of Jekyll and Hyde. At first, a Jekyll, a world benefactor, a man of peace. He'll be against violence at first. And then later, he will instigate a reign of terror, inaugurate catastrophes all over the world and he turns into then just the opposite of what he was before he has a dual nature one of the human nature and one that turns into satan incarnate as he takes him over and this guiding star will lead the world into a snare and the doom that the bible predicts and says will come to pass it doesn't make any difference what President Ford says, Henry Kessinger says, Simon says, Greenspun or any of those says, Armageddon will come. It will come on this earth and no one will stop it. God will bring it. They speak about their saviors already instead of Jesus being on the earth that's doing these great things. It's coming. It's the only the matter of timing that the events will take place. In Revelations through 13 through 16, chapter 16, you can read all of these things for those who would like to get an a insight into this. These things will take place. An evil snare is coming. You can read it in Luke 21, 35. Later in the latter part of the 70s and the early 80s, the immoral plight and degeneration and degradation of the nations will finally end in the great plagues of revelation. Now you see, people, you watch. I believe this, that in the next few years, and those first dates that I gave there, you're going to begin to say, wished I would have believed with all of my heart. I wished I would have took this in my heart. Where is that message? I now see and know these things are going to take place, and they will take place. But I believe this. Just today, we see, let us see what the economists say. See if they blend with the Bible. See how close to the Bible they are. This was just released. Now, this one here is the International Arco Report, and it says... Inflation has eaten the very core out of almost every paper currency in the world today. The people know it. The governments fear it. And the prices that are rising prove it. This coupled with shortages ranging from energy to food will continue to rain havoc and ruin upon, upon the people of the world. That's a report. The Economist agreeing with the Bible 
Out of this chaos, they'll bring prosperity. And then back into chaos, into Armageddon. See, they just have prosperity for a while again. And they, mark, they give the mark of the beast. And what they think is the great turns into to horror. And they're big trading centers. And they're big trading marts. The worldwide trade begins to come out of that. And all these things begin to take place. Now, here's another report. We'll get one more to confirm witness before I go back and finish. This one here was a financial analyst that I saw the other day. And I said, my lands, look at this. Now, his timing may be early that he gives it, but it may even begin that early. Here's what he says. Sometimes, 1976 or a little later in the year, towards the end, the Western world and the industrialized nations and the, some of the Orient countries will plunge into the most financial crises since the early 1930s. For the first time in history, runaway inflation will precede, overlap, either a severe recession or a full-scale inflationary depression, a major recession with the inflation. There will be massive unemployment, a plague of bankruptcies, endless shortages, wrenching social upheavals, the emergence of a left-wing totalitarian regime in Western Europe, and a permanent change in the way of living that you and I have come to know. Now, according to the Bible, what he just said here is to take place. It's only the matter of timing that it will take place. And the Scripture says in Revelations 13, 15, and 18, and Revelations 6, 5 through 8, this will occur, only it will be worsening towards the Great Tribulation. Now, the dates may be early that he said here for some of this economy that will occur. But I can tell you this, in a matter of a few years, those things will begin to take place. God will have his hand on his children. Never fear. The Lord will put his hand on the elect until the gospel has been preached. He will prosper you. He wants to get this message out. And until the last one has heard the word of God in the brideship, he will make a way for his children if you're associated to the faith and power of the word of God and to the right ministry of anointing. God will stand with you no matter what. So don't look at the darkness. Look at the joy and the love of the Lord. He's coming to take his children out soon. The message is simply this. The Lord is coming soon. The Lord is coming soon. He's coming to get us. The Lord is coming for his people. Can you say amen? you've heard how Jesus died on the cross but have you really thought about it have you really thought about what hell is going to be you see I'm praying that you will take each one of these songs directly to your heart ask yourself do you want to go to heaven or to hell 